Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on Wednesday, Season 1, Episode 4. So let's roll that intro and get straight into it. Here we go. It's this thing. <laughs> of course it is. I would love to see like the making of this and see how they do the thing. There you are. Ooh. But remains of the chest and torso indicates a frenzied attack. Subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. Uh oh, I is in trouble. This is curious. Subject's left foot is missing. That's curious, is it? Things like, we gotta go. I've never seen injuries like them. I thought you should see this. What is she gonna be in that filing cabinet? It's a real noodle scratcher. Well, there's the foot. The killer cut off two toes from the victim's left foot. Best guess, they use a surgical saw. God, that looks way too real. Holy. This is awkward. You've been dead a while. I guess you won't mind waiting another day for me to cut you open. Weird that he talks to the bodies. No? Oh, what a hiding spot. Let's go. Five more minutes. <laughs> we got a bit of a smile there. Bit of a smile. Whoa, what a night. Whoa, what a night. Knee. The second one a finger. One say, I don't really feel like the third one a gallbladder. She's gonna faint or throw up. His murders aren't mindless. He's collecting trophies like a season. Faint. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> aren't you pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? There's even a DJ. Interesting that she didn't ask him about that. She just clocked it, moved on. Ah, she f she followed him instead. Jesus. I suppose every artist needs a muse. How many times have you seen this thing? Is it him? Is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes? If this was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential serial killer. He's gonna, she's going to ask about... Are you really going to make me ask? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Would you go to the dance with me? Yes. Wednesday, I would love to go to the dance with you. Oh my god! Wednesday Adams is going to the Raven! Oh, Enid. You sweet little bean. That thing was a fashion emergency not even lightning could resuscitate. <laughs> What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? <laughs> Me, whenever I'm forced to go shopping. I have more pressing business than to worry about a stupid dress for a dance I don't even want to attend. Coming loose and go run with the pack. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank the sweet lord. <laughs> I'm going to seek help and I'm not stopping. Very Wednesday. Hi, Wednesday. Are you collecting more exotic trinkets for your office? Those are souvenirs from my travels. I'm not required to answer your questions out in the wild, am I? Out in the wild. Is it okay if I talk to Enid? Don't worry. I can handle him. I know this isn't a random encounter. So why are you sitting here, Lucas Walker? I got a friend who works at Hot Couture. She overheard you on the hunt for a date to the Raven. Maybe we can help each other out. Uh, or not. Here's you're a bit of a bully. You guys have the Raven coming out this weekend, right? There's all the buzz with the weather vane today. I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. So who is it? Xavier. Got it. Ooh, he looks real hurt by that holy. I'm not sure why you're becoming upset. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. She's good at reading emotions then. I thought we liked each other. 
but then you pull something like this and I have no idea where I stand. Fair play to him for being honest and bringing that up, though. Like, he could have just said, no, it's fine, and then just walked off, but he, he didn't. He was honest. Putting a good word for me. I hear she's still sans date. He's still crushing on Enid. We don't need these inane rites of passage to validate who we are. You're not going to the Raven either? Um... <laughs> about that. It's not like I like Xavier. I just have ulterior motives. I mean, I believe it too. Like, I don't think she sees Xavier. I do think Xavier likes her, but I don't think that she likes him. I could be wrong. I might look stupid at the end of this, but... You think it's in there? Only one way to find out. I wouldn't fancy going in there. It's a no from me. If you hear me screaming bloody murder, there's a good chance I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, he's gone in, bless him. This is definitely its lair. Are those? That's a lot of bones right there. Chain? Is he trying to lock himself up? Or this thing? Yeah, I see. Is it a tooth? A fang? Or is it a claw? Just need to find something to match against the claws, DNA. I think thing is my favorite. What are you planning to do with that? Well, this is awkward. What the hell are you doing? How do you know what the monster looks like? This creature's been haunting my dreams for the past couple of weeks. I try to block it out. You were in here. Before, when I caught you outside. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? Yep. You are unbelievable. It's nothing personal. No, it never is with you, is it? Do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all, Wednesday? He's genuinely hurt. <laughs> Because he, he does have real feelings for her. I, I do believe him, though. Like, I, I don't think it's him. I do believe that he's having these nightmares and obviously because of his power, they're coming to life. But is it potential that his paintings are coming to life? So there's multiple of this monster running around because of his gift? I don't know. Bring me a DNA authorization form, please. <laughs> it's fuming because he knows that he needs her right now. She's got more than what he's got to offer. I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all. His claw marks look different now. <sighs> what are you up to? I wasn't quick enough to read what that said. Hang it. Oh, beautiful. What a nice talk. She's so cute. Welcome to the Raven. Welcome to the Raven. <laughs> Love it. He looks cool AF, doesn't he? With his shades on. Oh, here's to a night they'll never forget. She's so teeny tiny. All I remember is disappointment. The boy I asked to turn me down for another girl. Morticia Frump, in fact. Wednesday's my... Oh, dear. It keeps coming back to her and Morticia, doesn't it? I'm coming, Eugene! Tyler. Got your invite. Guessing you'd dang drop it in the tip jar? Good guess. Yeah, after our last conversation, I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, you better hide thing. Genuine <laughs> and sweet. How could you do this to me? He got the dress. He got the dress. He got the dress. <gasps> she looks amazing. Uh, wow. You look amazing. Wednesday. What's going on? What happened to staking out the cave? I get it. Guess I'll check out the woods myself. Don't go alone. Bless him. Because he wanted to go as well. Hummer never shies away from danger. No. Tell me he's not going to do that by himself. Sorry. When you go here. Not anymore. They've been extinct since the 1950s. She looks so cute with her pink hair. Ina? <laughs> I thought that was you. Is that your date? We are both loving this dance together. 
Oh no. Sweet. That was weird. No apology or anything? I do really like being here with you, so I appreciate the last minute invitation. So now we're talking about Wednesday Adams. How come she's not in all white? Does it not have to be white? I know Wednesday is in black, but I guess it's just an icy theme, so. Wednesday? I come in peace? You better come in peace. I brought my pocket face. Wednesday. Probably best you uh, keep your distance there. I can't believe you brought him. Why are you bringing this up? Because you don't know what he did to me. What does that mean? I'm so sorry. What's he up to now? You are different. You up for getting down? Yeah. You up for getting down? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Eugene, you silly, silly little boy. Did Xavier tell us something? Xavier told me what you did last year. Okay. How you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on Outreach Day. I guess that was inevitable. Oh, see, this guy's a dick. Why'd you do it? I could give you a million excuses. The truth is, I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh, what does that even mean? It's in a way to this boot camp and realize that's not the version of myself I want to be. I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. I mean, it didn't lie then. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands. I love that she's just like, this is me, you know? Yes, he's just dancing with her. Oh, he's so broody, this guy, isn't he? This savior guy. Take off your amulet and make me forget about it. He's fallen for her that much? Holy. I guess he falls quick. Let's go. Feels this now. Guys, I was thinking that maybe this isn't such a good idea. You think? Get revenge on those freaks for nuking Crackstone's fountain. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. Oh, I hate kids like this. Oh my god. They torched it. So whoever that was knows that the cave has been found and burnt evidence. Is it the sheriff then? And the sheriff is like, we've cracked it. Now I need to burn. She's cracked it, sorry. And now we need to burn the, the evidence. You're lucky. Do you tell? You don't care what people think of you. True. At least she doesn't share if she does. Honestly, I wish I cared a little more. Hmm. Interesting. I swear to God, if Eugene gets her, I'm going to be fuming. Uh-oh. Here they go. Don't do it, my god. Oh, dear me. Oh, gosh. It's like Carrie. Look at her smiling. And they just had to be wearing white. Apart from Wednesday, obviously. They couldn't even spring for real pig's blood. It's only pain. Oh, it's paint. <laughs> you carnage. Uh oh. He cannot. He cannot. Wolf out. Wolf out. Oh, get away from her. I didn't even want to go with him. I wanted to go with you. So then, why didn't you ask me? Well, she pulled me off the other night, and you never told me why. I was too embarrassed to tell you, but I accidentally looked in the mirror. And there it is. Whoa. We should, uh, we should probably take it slow, right? Right, so at least something good came out of the dance. And the stupid, stupid prank. 
don't like that noise. You have to be quick Wednesday. Run quicker. <gasps> oh no. Wednesday. Over here. <gasps> oh my god, no. Eugene? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my god, is he alive? And you just happen to be there? The plot thickens. <laughs> what an episode. I really enjoyed that. I feel like this one was stronger than the last one. We got a lot more like plot progression in this one and just some really nice scenes as well. Uh, we had the prom dance scene, which was iconic, loved it. And the whole like prank scene as well, which is an eye roll moment with the bullies and stuff but visually pleasing to look at so it's a yes for me for that and it brought Enid and Ajax closer together so that's always a win for me uh I I'm fuming that Eugene got hurt I don't think he should have been hurt I'm hoping he's still alive but looking at the the blood and everything it doesn't look good <laughs> you never know they, they found him straight away so maybe they can take him to the hospital and it'll be okay it did look quite brutal though so yeah probably unlikely thornhill i'm sussy of now she just happened to be there at that time in fairness to her wednesday did say eugene's in trouble and he's in the woods he's in danger or whatever so she could have just followed wednesday into the woods she was behind wednesday so it would make sense that she's there. But also, if she is this shape-shifting monster, she could have got ahead of Wednesday, attacked Eugene, and then morphed back. That could have happened. I've always said that I think that Thornhill's going to have a bigger part, just mainly because of Christine Reacher. And I know I can't fully go off that. I know it's stupid for me to go off that. But um, she's high on my list right now. Thornhill's high numbers. I mean, it could be uh, the headmistress Weebs. It still could be her. We saw shape shifting happening with her. And she is fuming with Morticia. So she's definitely a possibility. It could be Tyler. We will learn in this one that he did some shitty things as well. So he's not this like stuttering cute lad that we thought he was he's got more of a, a, a dark past then he was just really open and honest two times within this episode so mm, yeah i'd say like it's more likely thornhill over him right now uh who else did i say last episode it uh the therapist again we haven't really seen much of her so i mean i doubt it's her right now to be honest and i'm gonna say that it's not xavier i will say that it's not xavier i'm gonna trust my gut on that he just seems so moody and like wrapped up in his own bubble doesn't give me monster vibes it just yeah he's just too broody <laughs> uh and he's clearly infatuated with wednesday i mean to ask an ex to help to get over the new potential girl is kind of weird in itself anyway. I can't believe he asked that. A little bit strange. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's him. Again, I could look ridiculous and I don't look stupid. And it is actually him. But I've got to be honest, that's just my th thoughts right now. It might change the more I watch. Obviously, I might be backtracking, backpedaling very fast. Uh, next episode. <laughs> But, you know, these are my thoughts right now. And what else happened in this one? Um, the burning of the cave seemed sussy to me. And the figure looked like a male figure that was burning the cave. My th first thought w was that it was the sheriff because of the way that the car pulled up. But then he was wearing that long black trench coat. And then I was like, mm, maybe not. But whoever burnt the cave knows that the cave has been found so they were hiding evidence 
and Wednesday took all the evidence to the sheriff, which makes me believe that it's the sheriff that's burnt the cave. And therefore, he's high on my suspect list, actually. Because it could have been him being like, shit, that's my tooth. <laughs> and that's my, like, you know, that's going to lead them straight to me. Or claw, or whatever the hell it was. So yeah. He's definitely up there now for, for maybe number one suspect. Even more so than Thornhill. Because Thornhill, again, was behind Wednesday the Dance. So no, I'm loving trying to figure it all out though. And I'm enjoying seeing the character traits and stuff especially wednesday and thing as well like the fact that things set wednesday up with tyler was kind of cute and got the dress as well with his a five finger discount uh but also like the honesty between tyler and wednesday because he was just like look i like you like i thought you were gonna ask me and same with xavier as well that you could see that he was fuming when he realized that she'd only asked him to cover up the fact that she'd been in his uh, hut, <laughs> if you want to call it. So yeah, was it, it was a good one this. I really did enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I apologize because I'm extremely tired and I look very run down because I am. Um, but it felt good to just watch TV and, you know, escape in this world for a bit. So. I want to thank you for, for joining me on this journey as well. If you enjoyed this reaction, give the video a cheeky thumbs up because it really helps the channel more than you know. And uh, subscribe if you could be so kind. But as always, there's no pressure here. You do you, but I'd just love to have you. And yeah, I hope to see you all again soon for the next video. And hopefully I've got a lot more energy then. <laughs> Bye for now. And before I sign off, I'm going to take a comment from the Dat Pack, and today I've chosen the lovely Bart. And Bart says, I haven't got too much to add here with this episode. This is episode three, by the way. Uh, I love Wednesday's humour and sense of revenge. I like how they actually point the finger at everyone and try to make everyone suspicious in some way. Too often, murder mysteries point fingers at person A and find out it can't be that person, then go to person B c etc i like that they kind of tried to build everyone evenly and i could not agree more with this part because even like in my outro and i'm guessing who it is there's multiple people that it could potentially be like you say they, they've not chosen say headmistress weebs and they're running with this until you know we realize that she's innocent and then go to thornhill and then just sort of go through that that chain of command or whatever um or routine even instead everyone's on like an even playing field and we we're just suspicious of everyone and it shows that not everyone is perfect everyone's got secrets everyone only chooses what they want to share etc and it's allowing us to learn more about all of these characters rather than focus on one and work our way through it's like what about this thing and what about this thing it's just it keeps it interesting i like the pace of it uh so yeah thank you so much bart for leaving your comment and for watching my video it means the world and i hope you continue enjoying the content furthermore uh and don't forget guys if you want to see one of your comments at the end of my videos don't forget to leave them in the comment section below and who knows maybe yours will be next but until next time bye for now <laughs>